welcome to another cook with me video if you're new here welcome my name is Christy I'm just now getting back to filming I have a meal prep video coming out and then I'm doing a cook with me today hoping to get a chat video and between those three I have no clue what order they're gonna be in as far as when I put them up just because the editing for each one takes a little bit more time so in today's video I have a very easy slow cooker recipe for you as always the recipe and some of the items that I use will be linked down in the description box below let's get started with this cook with me this recipe is called slow cooker creamy garlic chicken it looks really good the website I got this from is laurengroupman.com I've never heard of her before so I'm anxious to try this it looks so easy to do the only thing is she says it only takes four hours it's cooking on high for four hours I don't like to use my slow cooker on high I like to do my slow cooker on low so I'm gonna do it on low for six hours I think with the size chicken breasts that I have have, that should work so low for six hours so what you're gonna need for this is one and a half pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast it calls for six ounces of cream cheese but I'm actually shy a little bit of six ounces so I added just a little bit extra ricotta so it calls for three quarters of a cup of ricotta cheese and then I'm just using a little bit more between three quarters and one cup the other things we need are three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil I'm using avocado oil also one and a half teaspoons of chicken bouillon I'm just using a bouillon cube and then mixed in here I have one and a half teaspoons of dried basil one and a half teaspoons of dried thyme and one and a half teaspoons of dried oregano it also calls for one and a half teaspoons of dried rosemary, but I didn't have any rosemary. I'm not a big fan of rosemary anyway, so I'm gonna leave that out. And then also the other thing it calls for is one and a half tablespoons of minced garlic, and I just used the rest of my garlic on another recipe. So I just added in probably about maybe two teaspoons of garlic powder into there. And also there's some black pepper in there as well. I put about, it calls for three quarters of a teaspoon. I put about half a teaspoon. So we're gonna actually be serving this over pasta. So I'm gonna cook this in the slow cooker and then I'll cook the pasta later. So for now, let me show you how to make it in the slow cooker. So I'm using my Instant Pot. My Instant Pot has a slow cooker function. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just spray the insert with some cooking spray. And next, I'm just going to put the chicken breast down on the bottom and now we're just gonna top it with the ricotta and cream cheese and you don't have to melt it you can just pop it right on there The other thing I forgot to tell you we need is three quarters of a cup of water. So I think what I'm going to do is just mix all this together and just kind of swirl it around a little. And I think that bouillon cube I'm going to put right over the top. And then just pour that right over the top of it. And that's all there is to it. So now I'm gonna put the top on it. So now I'm gonna do slow cook on low for six hours. And I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, so there's still 30 minutes left, but it definitely looks done to me. So now all I have to do is take that chicken out of there and then mix the juice and the cheeses together. So I'm gonna try to scoop that off and I'm gonna have to be careful because as everyone knows, when chicken cooks in the slow cooker, it pretty much falls apart like that. For the most part, the rest of that is cheese. So we just mix all that together. All right, so I'm just kind of 
putting this into four because this does make enough for four. And then just kind of cutting it up. It's just going to shred up anyways. And then the I'm just using these Banza chickpea pasta. These are shells. All right, so I've got half the noodles in these two dishes and then half of them in this four cup container. So I'm going to put that aside and we're going to have that a second night. Just put about half of the chicken right on top. And then what I'll do is I'll put this chicken in here, but I won't put the sauce on it because it, I'm afraid the noodles will just soak up the sauce. Actually, I'm going to set my husband's aside because I don't know if he's eating quite yet. He literally just got home from work. So now we're going to take that sauce, which looks delicious now. It didn't look very appealing when I first opened it. And I think that's going to do it. And now it says just to add some mozzarella and some parsley, which I don't have either of those. So I do have a chunk of Parmesan cheese here. So I'm just going to shred some fresh Parmesan. Hopefully my lighting's okay. It smells good. It looks good. Give it a try. Oh yeah, that's got good flavor. I will definitely use regular garlic next time because it's supposed to be garlic chicken and all I had was the garlic powder. So I think that would really make the dish is to add in some gar fresh garlic rather than the garlic powder. But this is really good and so easy to make. in the comments what's your favorite thing to make in the slow cooker this time of year. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.